Stephanie with Digital Thinker, and today I'm going to talk about the Hexagon mobile apps that are out there for EAM. EAM Transit is going away, just the name. The actual app itself is not going away. So sometime in 2023, they're expecting about quarter two for the name to change, but the app itself is not going to change. And the other one I'm going to talk to you about today, the main one we're going to go and look at is Digital Work App. You can download the apps, but it's very important that your system administrator gets the licensing worked out and make sure that you have the correct licenses to do mobile. Because there's three different license types. You had advanced, which is like system administrator, your planner level, more in depth, more information that is out there. Then you have your field work, which is your technicians, which is what we're going to look at today. And then you have requester, which just like the desktop, the requester can only see work requests and requisitions. All right, let's log into the digital work app and show you what a technician sees. So after you get the license and worked out, your system administrator will be able to give you a QR code where you be able to easily scan your QR code by hitting settings. So when you first log in, it's going to be empty. I have mobile dash tech because that's how I'm going to log in today. But typically when you first log in, it will be completely empty. So you want to hit settings and this is where you're able to scan your QR code if you have one which makes your life a lot easier because you don't fill out the tenant or the endpoint. All that will be done by the QR code. All right, I'm gonna close it. All right, and I wanna, you wanna log in with your username and password. So digital work is pretty cool because it's like your desktop where when you first log in, it's your start center. Granted, there is no KPIs and charts, but you're able to set up inboxes by the user or user group, depending on your company does it. I don't have any set up right now for this user, but if I did, they would appear right there and you'd be able to double click and go to that screen. So you wanna go up to the top left and those three dashes is your menu, just like you would see in the desktop. The technicians can see work, materials, and equipments. So I'm gonna click on work and they can see work orders. For technicians, we have it set up that it goes to my open work orders. So these are work orders assigned to that technician. So I'm gonna open mobile example, just so you kinda of see what it looks like. Again, Gonna say this all the time, but your mobile screens are set up just like your desktop. Your system administrator can go change the digital work screens so that by user group, they can definitely clean up what your technician sees, what your planner sees. They might not need every field that's on the desktop when they're out on the floor. So based on the access level, technicians can add comments to your work order in the work order pane itself it looks like a little text box and you want to click on it. And this is where comments can be added. There's none today, but if you need to add comments, that is where they would be able to do it. And they can swipe to the right and go back to your, this is what is the record view screen that you would typically see on the desktop. If a technician has a task plan that's associated, they can click on right next to the text box field. It looks like a clipboard. That is where you'll see if there is a checklist associated or not. This is where a technician can go in and go through the checklist items and change what they see on the floor. They can add comments, they can add pictures, they can do, hey, this needs follow up. They can do all that right on their screen. And then you can save. We want to hit cancel up here if you want to leave the task plan. You'll go back to the work order. And just like the desktop, it looks kind of like a pencil with a paper. That is where if there's something that they need to change, let's say the status or anything like that, that is where it opens the fields up like you would see on your record view. And that's where you're able to change ready to schedule. And I want to change it. Hey, I want to say it's in progress and then hit save. Go back up to menu. And this is what a technician can see. And the screens are going to look different based on the user group and the access level that the user has. Technician can see parts, requisitions, transactions. They can do physical inventories or PO receipts. Again, depend, depending on their access level, depends on what they can actually do in these screens, but they can at least see these screens. And then all you have to do is log out. Pretty easy. Hey, this is Stephanie Digital Thinker. Thanks for watching.